How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome back to another C++ video tutorial. Just kidding, because it's April Fools and we're not doing C++. Alright, bad joke aside, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a fade in transition. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to double click, make a new sprite. We're going to make this 16 by 16 and generally your fade in and fade out transitions are fading to black, but you can have it be whatever color you want. I'm going to make this black and by having it as such a small object, I don't have to worry about it. I can put it elsewhere. I'm going to call this object fade and I'm going to give it the behavior of fade. Now to do this, I need to make sure I don't set the fade in time. It's kind of uh, it's kind of a tricky, uh, what would you call it? It's uh, the word is escaping me. It's you would think that this is the right answer, but it's not. What this would do is it would have it be the background color, and then it would fade the object in, and we don't need that. We want the opposite of that. We want this to fade out. So to do this, what we want to have happen is we want to set our wait time to one. That's it. We're done. Now what we need to do is we're going to cut this object out of our layout. We're going to make a new layout to host this object. Let's not add an event sheet to this. We can uh, put the layout size down to 16 by 16. I've been doing this more recently in all of my projects because it just has been getting so unmanageable to have objects all around the sides of my game. So I'd rather keep it completely object free and put all of my objects kind of like a host put them all in layout two. Now, because I have this object in layout two and not layout one, I need to make sure that the system creates the object. So in event sheet one, we're gonna have the system on the start of layout, create our object, system create object. And as long as construct two sees the object in some layout, it will be able to create it. Otherwise it'll throw an error. So we're gonna create it on layer zero because it's the only layer I have. We're gonna create it at zero, zero. So this is going to, going to create a 16 by 16 object in the top left corner. That obviously does us no good because we need this to cover the entire layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the size of this to be the, uh, let's see here, layout width and layout height, just like this. Now you can also do it for the window height and window size if you uh, didn't have a camera object, but I think it's going to be better if you do the layout width and layout height. So let's hit play and let's watch as it fades in just like that. And really what it's doing is it's creating this this object at, at the start of the layout and it's fading it out. So it kind of creates this pseudo fade in effect transition. And I really like using this effect because it's very seamless and it just makes your game a little bit better. So I hope you learned something from this very quick tip tutorial. If you have, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more daily videos. I'm starting to do this every single day. I've done that for two weeks now. So I'm coming up with a whole bunch of different ideas for tutorials, for series, for so many other things. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see besides tutorials or programs, other programs that I might be able to do, maybe other game engines, other languages, other programs that aren't even related to doing programming. Uh, let me know what you want to see because I want to have fun with this channel and I want to make a bunch of stuff every single day for you guys. So let me know. Also, if you are so keen, I have a mega course that is on sale for the very last time on Udemy, which you can check out in the description below and get it for $9. It's on sale at the lowest price possible before Udemy changes their entire thing, which is just something I have up. So feel free to check that out in the description. Otherwise, please let me know in the comments what you want to see going forward. I'm going to be doing so many more videos. Uh, I'm really, really excited to show you everything that I'm going to be posting very soon. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.